Dreallday.com. I am actually I'm, I'm seeking some help in this video right here. I want to know. You know, this dude just got knocked off the screw trying to drive in between cars. <laughs> he hit the side here. Anyway, I'm trying to get some help here in this conversation on the subject of abortion versus reproductive freedom. This dude should start riding that little scooter in the street. He's gonna get murdered. He's gonna get, he's gonna get killed. Now somebody's gonna hit his ass right off that scooter. He's trying to drive in the street like a car. Anyway, the subject of uh, reproductive freedom versus abortion. Now, let me say off the top here for everyone to understand, this is my disclaimer. I am not picking a side in this conversation. Actually, it's, it's kind of the same. They're actually two sides of, of the same thing. But mm -hmm. I hear a lot of people, I saw this video on Twitter this morning, this guy who's running for, what is he running for? He is running for the Senate in the state of Kentucky. His name is Charles Booker, black man. And there's this video on here where he's you know, saying that he's running for U.S. Senate. He's a husband, a father, a son, community advocate. He has he and him. He has pronouns in his bio, which is not a good sign to me. But anyway, shout out to Charles Booker. If he happens to be watching this. I do not live in the state of Kentucky. I don't have a dog in that race. I don't know who he's racing against. I do not know his entire agenda. All I know is I saw that video and it sparked an idea that led to this topic. It's not about, this is not about Charles Booker at all or the state of Kentucky. But this whole thing about now people are trying to change the words. Y'all know about all this, this whole, all this uh, liberalism, progressiveness and wokeness. They're taking words and phrases that we traditionally used one way and they're changing the language to make it sound like something other than what it is. So, for example, they've taken, I can't even think of the phrases that they're using, but with the whole don't say gay situation, y'all saw the video that I put out about that, and the HB 1557, which is the bill that has been signed into the law, into law in the state of Florida about do not teach about homosexuality and transgenderism to kids who are five, six, and seven years old in schools. And the general idea of the bill is to not hide from parents what is going on in the school with their kids, which I think is a, a pretty damn good idea. I ain't sending no kid to a school where the, the teachers can hide from me what's going on with my child. That's crazy. But anyway, people tried to make that bill seem like it was something crazy. But this whole thing with on this, on that side of the conversation, and when I did the video on liberal, am I liberal or conservative, and I talked about different points, of course not everything extensively, one thing that the liberal side of things is doing that I do not agree with, and there are some things they do that I do agree with, and some things conservatives do that I agree with, and is, is give and take on both sides, but one of the things is changing the language of certain terms and ideas as we traditionally known them and making it sound either worse than it is so that they can get people to go against it or make it sound less than it is so that people can be for it and this is one of abortion is one of those points so i want to offer some objective analysis of this and then i just want to know what y'all think that's really why i'm making this video so the objective analysis is the following all right, we know what abortion is. I remember asking my mom what abortion was way back in like the, actually, no, I didn't ask her what it was. I knew what it was. I asked my mom how she felt about abortion because this argument over abortion has been going on for decades. This is not new. Back in like the 90s, I remember asking my mother what she felt about abortion. And my mother, of course, being black, she is grew up, so my mother's like over 60 years old. And any of you knows, most of you know, a lot of older black folks who are like that generation and older, uh, they spent their entire lives basically uh, married to the Democrat agenda. Not that that's necessarily a negative thing, but the, I'm bringing that up to say that a lot of those people in that generation aren't even open to changing their minds about anything when it comes to their political affiliations and the things that they agree with or disagree with. It's all based on who said it. And we all know this. Now, if I'm wrong about that, somebody can let me know. The majority of them, I'm not saying all of them, but the majority of them, and this was a great political ploy by the Democratic Party. My mother said she is pro-abortion, and I said, why are you pro-abortion? Again, this is way back in like the 90s. And she said, a woman should have the right to decide 
what she wants to do with her body. That's pretty much the idea that has been covering around the concept of abortion. But as I think about it, and I've heard people on the conservative side make their argument for being against abortion, in other words, pro-life, another way of saying it, is that, wait a minute, when you, when you undergo an abortion, when you do an abortion operation, what are you actually doing? And the reason why the operation is called an abortion is because you are literally aborting the life of a child. Now, you are aborting that life. Now, one argument that I've heard people who are pro-choice, that means they are okay with abortion, say, is that, well, it's giving freedom to a woman to decide what to do with her body. Now, here's my challenge to that. This Again, this is all part of my objective analysis. I am not making an argument for either side, but I do have challenges to some of these ideas. How are you going to call it reproductive freedom? This is the phrase that they're using to soften the concept of abortion. Or you're giving a woman a right to decide what to do with her body when it's not all about her body for two reasons. Number one, that woman is pregnant because she voluntarily decided to lay down and make a baby or she had unprotected sex, which we all know can lead to a baby. Now there's under 1% that somebody could become pregnant because they were raped. Most of the time that's not the case. So we're talking about the majority of cases, which is you voluntarily had sex unprotected and you became pregnant. It's not the condom broke or none of that. It's you voluntarily decided to do what you did, right? So it's not just freedom for the mother. It's not all about the mother, right? Because that's a, a person that you created in your body through the process of having unprotected sex. Now you want to just abort that life. It's called abortion because you are aborting a life. So it's not just all about the woman. So what I'm trying to understand is that on the, the pro-choice side of things, the people who are usually on that side, they have all these other arguments about, you know, every life matters, diversity, equity, inclusion, basically trying to create this big melting pot of every idea, every, um, every orientation, every inclination, every color, every gender, every everything should all be in one big pot and everybody should be included and there should be as much of a mix as possible as everybody. Yet, when it comes to ending the life of an unborn child, that's completely okay because they just changed the language of it to make it seem like, well, all we're doing is doing something to take care of women. That part, I don't quite understand. If there's someone who can explain that to me and help me understand, help me understand how that makes sense. I'm open to hearing that. I want to know. How can you make that argument that this is all for taking care of the woman when at the same time you're ending the life of a child and you're on this whole conversation about uh, diversity, equity, inclusion, including everybody, given every orientation, every gender, every background, every nationality should have a say in everything that's going on, but you're going to end the life of an unborn child just because the woman wants to. That doesn't sit right with me. That doesn't quite make sense to me. So if someone can help me make sense of it, I'm listening. I want to know what that is. The other reason, so that's one reason that you're ending the life of that child. Another thing is this, if a woman is pregnant, right, and she has a, a miscarriage or a stillbirth, how do women feel about that? Women who are listening to this, any of you who's ever uh, dealt with a miscarriage or a stillbirth or you know, anything that happens, you're pregnant, but then you're not pregnant because the baby didn't make it for whatever reason. That's like a devastating experience for a woman, is it not? A woman is heartbroken if she has a miscarriage, even though the child never actually, you know, she never actually got to have the child. The child never actually got to be born, but the woman is devastated, why? And what do people say to, to a woman who has a miscarriage? They say, you lost your baby. Isn't that what they say? Someone has a miscarriage, they don't say, well, you lost your fetus. They don't say, you lost a clump of cells that was inside of your uterus. They say, you lost your baby. So even before the baby is born, it's still a baby to that mother. Is this true or is this not true? Anyone has a challenge to this point, if I got any of this wrong, let me know. But if people call it a baby before it's even born, that means it's actually a baby. And if you lose it, you're devastated as if a real human being was lost. And I have known and know women who have dealt with this and they are devastated as if you no know, a real person who they actually knew and shook hands with lost their life, which they should be. And I completely understand it. So how are you going to 
say that a woman lost her baby when she has a miscarriage, but when she has an abortion, it's only a clump of cells or is this a fetus or life hasn't started yet. That doesn't make sense. Those two ideas are completely in, in conflict with each other. So what I want to hear from is someone who is on the pro-choice side. Again, I, don't, I have not picked a dog in this race. I just have questions because I'm trying to understand the logic of people who are on that side because there are some things that they've said that just don't quite make sense to me but if somebody can help me make sense of it then I'm, I'm definitely open to hearing it how is this and why here's the other question that I have for anyone who's on the pro uh, choice side meaning they're okay with women having an abortion why are they why do you feel might not be you who did it but why do you feel people who are in support of your idea are trying to change the language of what we've traditionally called abortion and now they're calling it reproductive freedom to kind of soften the blow of what you're actually doing it sounds like they're calling they're changing the name of it so that it seems more uh, more acceptable because now reproductive freedom sounds like something that you're doing to help people out but if you call it abortion then it is, you're calling it what it actually is which is aborting the life of someone who you consider that a baby if you wanted to have the baby and you had a miscarriage, you'd be devastated because you wanted that human. But if you have an abortion, it's just reproductive freedom. So you're basically acting like that human doesn't exist. It's all about you, but it's not about the baby that you voluntarily put into your body by having unprotected sex. So this part doesn't make sense to me. So someone can help me understand this or anyone who's listening to this, help me understand this. That's why I'm putting this video out. Help me out. Leave it in the comments. Two things. Daily Motivation, text me 305-384-6894. Work on your game university for my masterminds. That is at workonyourgameuniversity.com. Work on your game. Dre, all day.